She was a postmistress. I used to hear people talking about her. She worked in the post office. Okay. Um, is, is there any other thing that you you may have heard your father no. mention about his mother, or it wasn't spoken of that often? Well, she was only 27 or 28 when she had a chill and she passed away. Oh, it was from a chill. Okay. Maybe she had uh, some type of a fever that was going around. Might have been. Every place didn't have doctors. Pardon me? Not every place had doctors. Yeah. Not like they are today. It's hard to get a doctor in an airport. In a, 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 out there. What do you call them? An airport place. It's hard to get a doctor. They now, uh, you, did, did uh, Su was Susan from Trinity, or did she come from somewhere else and meet uh, your grandfather? As far as I know, she was from somewhere around there. But I, I'm not sure of that, so I crossed was it Was it possibly Dunfield, maybe? or? I think Dunfield is in Bonavista Bay, or, mm -hmm. or Greenspan. But anyway... I'd yeah. like to know that myself because I'm not sure. Well, Sicily said that uh, Susan Spurl grew up in the same house that Bishop White owned. Well, maybe that's what it uh, So I wonder how that uh, would work. You know, what, what would she be doing in uh, the same house that Bishop White was in? Maybe they rented it from him? You know, maybe he owned a lot of properties but didn't live in all of them. Oh, well, Bishop White? Yeah. Well... Dad wasn't, when Dad lived in his own house, I was over there when I was seven with some of my brothers and sisters that were big enough to go with us. Mm -hmm. I was seven. They had a front kitchen, they had a back kitchen, they had a celery, and Dad they used to call it a parlor, where it was a front room. Mm -hmm. And they had a, a nice grate in it, mm -hmm. and Auntie Oakley, we called her the stepmother, we called her Auntie Oakley, she lit up the grate, had a lovely grate, had the fire gone, but the only thing is, I went up the stairs with her when we went to bed, and she said the next morning I kicked in the bed. Oh, you did? <laughs> I said what? She said I kicked in the bed. Yeah. I kicked her in the bed. Oh. oh you kicked her in the back? In the bed. Oh, yeah. In the bed. Yeah. But with the whites, uh, if a uh, Spurl girl or something was living with the whites, why was it? That's what he's trying to figure out. Were they related? Or what was the reason? Well, as far as I know, she didn't live with the wife. She had her own home, and grandfather kept her, and the when housekeeper she, When she was young? She was growing up. Well, we don't know that. We're uncertain of that. Well, that's out of our state, out of our yeah, state. Yeah. How about uh, William's uh, schooling? There's there's a, a nice she, little school up in Trinity she there. explains better than me. Out Did of you mention state. anything about when he went to school I, I uh, as a child? Yeah. Well, you supposed to have a good education. Mm -hmm. Now, how about the, did they only own one house in uh, Trinity, or did they own two? Well, when they came out from England, as far as I know, they came from Devonshire, and they went and they settled in Greenspan, Barra Vesta. But grandfather used to come out from England every two weeks and go back and forth every two weeks and on Dad, I used to look to Dad for chocolates and candy. He said, you're lucky. He said, when I was growing up, he said, I only get a uh, lump of sugar you know, and uh, peppermint candy. And he said, my grandfather, or one of the fathers, used to come down with the candy and give it to me and we used to have it. But he said, there was no chocolate bars or nothing like he got to that, we got to that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Did he, uh, did uh, your grandfather used to... Uh, oh, yes, oh, excuse me. And he said that the place was so beautiful in front of him, great-grandfather built another house for when, uh, for his sons or whatever came oh, after him. okay. And he built a house in front of him. Mm -hmm. But he settled in Bonavista when they came out for Greenspan Bonavista. Mm -hmm. I don't want to remember. <laughs> you sure do. Yeah. So the one that's so married. So he built so another house. That means they had two houses. Yeah. Got an Oakley from Greenspan. Now, uh, hmm. Yeah. Huh? You have an Oakley from Greenspan married one of Matt's Debbie. kids. Yeah. Is he from Greenspan? Are they from Greenspan? Yes, and they're related. And are they? Yes. Yeah. They're related. Yeah. And I think the other brother settled out around uh, where? Boyd's Cove or out around Twillingate, out there. Yeah. 
because I saw her name in the funeral under the headstone out there in the graveyard, you know. Pudding Gate, this is where Mom were leaving. She was a terrible operator. Mm. When she was leaving the school, I heard it said that the schoolmaster went to her father, an earthly father, and he said, watch her. She's going to be smart. So she had two horses in cooking, mm -hmm. two in nursing, and she wasn't strong enough to be a nurse. And then she took telegraphy and became a telegraph operator. And that's what she was in mm -hmm. Selden, Horwood, Selden from Ball, a whole lot of places. She was only delicate to look at because she was the last one of a twin. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't expected to live when she was born. And Florence was a stronger one. She was shorter than Mam, but Mam was really by her, although she looked at it. Mm -hmm. She was stern to me, so. Was there any, much you talk about Priscilla, the mother? No. Priscilla Boyd? Uh... No, the only thing I remember was Mam would be smacking me. She'd skin me <laughs> my clothes. I'm going to hurt skin you now, she said, like, I'm, not only, I'm only hurting you as much as I'm hurting my hand. She said, that's what my mother used to do with me, and that's what I'm going to do with you. That's like my mother was to me. She was always giving me a smack. Yeah. Or throwing a pot at you. Or throwing hand. something at me, yeah, or hitting me with a clothes <laughs> hanger. Because there was a little friend for Margaret, but when she was sawing, she wanted me. me to stay with Marie. What year so did she your wouldn't let die? me go. Huh? What year did your mother die? 46. 1946? No, she was 46 when she died. Oh. 1937 she Nin died. 1937? Dad died in 1938, mm -hmm. the same month as Mom died. Mom died in 17th of April, he died in 29th of April, the next year. Mm -hmm. So our mother kept saying, stay with Marie, stay with Marie. And I didn't know what to say because I'd have to ask Dad. So I said, well, I'll go home and ask my dad. As soon as I said that, her face lit up and Marie walked in the door and she said, oh, Marie, I'm better, I'm better. Well, didn't, she, didn't you leave in 39? Well, I guess so. And if her mother died in 37... No, it was 38. It was 38. You left in 38? She went, she went away. Mom died, Mom died in 37. Dad died in 38. She was with us after Dad died. Or did she went away to New York? In 39. We were down to see her off. See, she yeah. lived with us. Dad died in April and she was with us in August. Mm -hmm. We lived down Victoria Street. Do you remember uh, Aunt Reenie? Who? Aunt Reenie? Irene. I'm good view street. Irene, do you remember what when she died? I don't think Marie knew I don't know what year she passed away. When I was a girl, around 13 or 14, I think it was, mm -hmm. and she was married to Richard Lane. Now that's our mom saw it. Mm -hmm. And he was an RC. Now he was married, I think she must have been Protestant, I'm not sure. But they never had any family. So he passed away, and Aunt Irene, she took him and she had him entered buried. And Dad said one day when he came home, he said, I've been looking around, he said, the graveyard, and he said, right on Canaz Hill, by the front of the side door, or the side of the fence, he said, Great Uncle Richard got a headstone there, and he said his wife put it up to him, for him. But they never had any children. But I remember somebody saying, I think it was Mum, instead of passing the graveyard when they lived way in the country, she didn't want to go past the graveyard, so he used to go, when she'd be out in town with him and Aunt Irene, he, he'd lead her in past it and she'd go to Nagel's Hill or on Pine Road by herself. Why didn't she want to go past the graveyard? She, she didn't feel satisfied or something. Yeah. Was she superstitious of anything? Or maybe she didn't want to bring back the sad the memories. Memories, yeah. memories yeah. maybe. And that was, uh... She went in the store and said, seen the same gingerbread, and she said, I'm a beggar. She said, will you give me a piece of gingerbread? <laughs> <laughs> piece of gingerbread. So they gave her the gingerbread, and she came out home. 